Hello, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Welcome to day one, finally, it's here, of the 12 cast-ons adventure for 2020. Um, so yeah, this is my first day of um, casting on 12 projects on consecutive days um, that will hopefully see me through next year and beyond. <laughs> Let's face it, given I've got two projects on the needles from last year and two from the year before still, <laughs> these projects will be on the go for a while. But before I reveal what my first cast on is going to be, I wanted just to share with you a lovely prize that I have um, to go into the pot for anyone who is joining along um, with me and casting on something um, between now and the end of January. The lovely Pamela um, contacted me and said that she was sending me a little um, gift box and inside that box were not one but two project bags and I have moved my habitation throw into one of those bags that she kindly gifted to me so you'll see that soon um, but um, she also sent another bag which she said I could offer as a giveaway here on the channel and I thought what better way to do that than with the 12 cast-ons because um, this bag has got um, a gorgeous kind of Christmassy fabric um, to it. So look at those beautiful poinsettias and leaves with a sort of gold line, just beautiful. Um, so this is a really roomy project bag. So it's a drawstring bag, but it also has these handles. So when the bag is open flat, it looks like a beautiful sort of detail in the fabric. When you draw your bag closed, uh, those pieces of fabric um, convert into handles for you to transport your bag around easily. I love that. Such a clever idea. Uh, so thank you so much Pamela. You are so very kind um, and I'm sure whoever um, is drawn as the winner of this bag will absolutely enjoy it for years to come. Um, as I say the other one that was in your package I've already started using and yeah it's lovely, absolutely lovely. So uh, thank you so so much time to share what I shall be casting on for my first project and I have somewhere confidently she says <laughs> honestly if you could see this room right now there is literally a tiny bit of space on the floor big enough for my bum to fit in <laughs> and the rest is chaos um, so I have my first cast on um, is going to be living in this beautiful project bag which was so kindly um, made for me by um, the lovely Jeanette who is um, the moderator over in our Ravelry group and um, yeah I love this beautiful sort of tartan fabric um, with the oranges and the greys it's just yummy and this beautiful tartan ribbon too um, so as I did last year I'm going to try and connect each of my cast-ons to um, like friendship and the yarn and yarns community in some way or another um, so for this one I have a bag um, gifted to me by my dear friend Jeanette and I'm going to be casting on a sock project to start with um, and it was a, pro a pattern that was so kindly gifted to me by the lovely Tracy. Hi Tracy if you're watching um, and Tracy reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and said that she'd like to gift me a pattern um, and in fact she ended up gifting me two which was so so generous but one of the patterns that she sent to me was the um, winter deer socks which is a pattern by charlotte stone stone knits and i've knit one of stone knit patterns before the zigzag socks and it was lovely to work with um, so this is the pattern i shall be casting on the winter deer or the winter moose as i shall be referring to them <laughs> uh, so as you can see it's got a lovely color work detail um, pattern around the leg um, there's also a little bit of color work um, down on the heel like a snowflake pattern which i thought was really sweet um, so I shall be casting those on today and I have picked out some yarns that I've had in my stash for a little while and I won these yarns um, from the lovely Lee, Lou Lee um, podcast um, and it must have been last year um, because I participated in her, in her um, knit 1000 grams make along and I know that she purchased this yarn for me from the Edinburgh Yarn Festival and um, what she picked out for me were two skeins of the John Arben Exmoor sock um, for Exmoor sock and it is a blend of 60% Exmoor Blueface, 20% Corridale, 10% Swore Balls and 10% Nylon. Um, it's a superwash yarn um, produced here in the UK and uh, Lee very kindly picked me up two skeins um, in two different colourways 
so these were the color beautiful colors that she picked out for me and i've had these wound up for ages because i have been contemplating a color work hat um maybe a cowl um, but i never quite got round to casting on and um when i saw this lovely pattern um that tracy had gifted to me i immediately thought of these yarns i'm going to be using the blue for my background color and then I'm going to be using this lovely rusty orange to knit the colour work details. I'm really um, intrigued to knit with this yarn. I've not used it before. Um, it feels um, sort of look like it would be really lovely for colour work. Um, it's got a little bit of sort of toothiness and grip to it, even though it's a superwash yarn. It's not um, sort of super smooth as um, a lot of uh, sort of superwash treated yarns feel. It's definitely still got some woolly characteristics to it. So yes, first cast on. <laughs> ready to go um i do unexpectedly have to um do a couple of bits of work today um and it, the sun is also shining so i'm going to pop by the shop to pick up a couple of bits i've been meaning to do it for um, a few days but the weather's been pretty miserable but the sun's out today so um before i sit down cozy up for the rest of the day and cast on um i'm gonna go out for a walk get my jobs done and uh yeah just enjoy a bit of fresh air and sunshine <music> Before I start on today's cast on, um, I'm actually going to be um, just exporting and uploading the video um, that's going to go up today on Christmas Eve. And um, while I'm waiting for that to export so that I can then add all the links and do all that stuff, um, I'm going to work on my sleepover sock. Uh, so this is a little bit extra non uh, cast on content for this vlog um, but yesterday I did manage to finish that first sleepover sock if you watched yesterday's video um, you'll know what I'm waffling about um, I just have to kitchen another the toe um, and then I need to cast on and I've um, worked out a little sort of schedule for myself <laughs> I've scribbled it onto the bottom of the pattern let me try and make sure I don't give away any secret pattern source um, so I've got um, every day what I need to do in order to get the second sock finished by the end of the year. Um, so I need to cast on and knit the cuff today. Um, so I'm going to make a start on that while I'm sorting out YouTube stuffs. <laughs> much later in the day it's about 4 30 and time has disappeared as it often does but i am now ready to cast on my sock except my little bag here i haven't got any needles thankfully in this house i'm never too far away from a pair of needles. I've been asked a few times when I've made these videos what sort of cast on I tend to use and I just use the cast on that my gran taught me uh, which is just the thumb cast on and it's kind of a variation on the long tail because i'm working um from a tail of yarn and obviously i have the main yarn attached to my wool, but it's a kind of variation on that and i find it's a nice stretchy cast on 
um, which you definitely need for socks. with the first cast on of the 12 cast ons 2020 even though I'm starting a little bit later in the day than I had originally planned I'm hoping uh, I'm usually a relatively fast sock knitter so I'm hoping that um, I will at least get to start the colour work portion of the sock before I finished today. Um, James's turn to cook tonight, so I don't have that to deal with. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hoping for a productive evening of knitting. If I want to get to that colour work section, I should probably stop yakking, start concentrating on what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'll check in again later. It's 9pm and I've not long started on the colour work chart for the winter deer socks, but James has just gone to get me a glass of some sort of adult beverage. So. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? Colour work and booze. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not quite sure whether I'll make any more progress on this today, but we'll see, here he comes. Cheers. Where's my knitting pattern, Nudie? Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates and whether you do or you don't I hope you have a joy-filled and peaceful day today. It's just after nine in the morning and everyone in the house is asleep. <laughs> if my weather app is to be believed the best of the sunshine here is in the first few hours this morning so I thought I'd take the opportunity to escape the house and stretch my legs and get some sea air. Um, yeah it's beautiful beautiful down here as always um, we're chatting with some family later um, on phone calls and video calls so first thing is the best opportunity for me to escape the house I've brought my breakfast with me <laughs> got my cup of tea and I've just scoffed a cereal bar <laughs> I thought as well as showing you the beautiful beach on Christmas Day I could bring my projects down here to share with you my progress for my first day and do my intro hopefully for the second day oh the sun is blaring so you'll have to uh, excuse me if I'm squinting a little bit a 
let me first show you what I'm looking at. Isn't that lovely? There's a couple of people around, but not many. And I nearly went home with a dog. <laughs> this lovely dog came running up to me and then wouldn't disappear. So <laughs> the owner had to come and reclaim it. That would have been no surprise on Christmas day for James if I'd have gone home with a dog. <laughs> anyway, let's talk progress on my first cast on. So I brought my bag down with me and um, actually the last bit of the video montage it kind of shows the progress that I've made um, on this sock because I didn't really do any more. We sat yesterday evening, had a couple of glasses of port for seeing in Christmas Day, <laughs> watched the Muppets Christmas Carol and I knit a few more rows on my sock. So I'm not sure how well I can't really see <laughs> what's on the screen at the moment because of the sunshine. Uh, but that's my progress. I have literally, I've just started the um, deer moose horns in the colour work, so made some reasonable progress. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't get started a little bit earlier in the day because it would have been really nice to see um, those moose emerge by the end of the day, but um, my colour work's not the neatest. This yarn's a little bit finer than some sock yarns. I think it might be a three ply if I remember from the label. Don't quote me on that but the colours look great together, um, but it is a little bit finer than I'm used to and I'm working the colour work section on a 2.5 um, millimetre needle and my knitting gauge is fairly loose compared to a lot of knitters anyway, um, but I'm hoping once the sock is sort of soaked it might puff out a little bit and do the magic thing where um, colour work evens out a little bit. It's not the worst, but it's certainly not the neatest colour work I've ever, ever started. Don't mind, that could also be the port. <laughs> so yes, I'll put a video shot of my progress in um, just to properly show you. So that wraps up day one of the 12 Cast Ons adventure. Um, I know I had quite a few comments and messages already to say that people have been casting along with me. Um, I haven't actually read the YouTube comments that have come in since yesterday evening, um, but I do know that Tracy has started some socks. Um, Ellie said she started three projects, although she didn't give any details on those. Um, the lovely Jenny has started a slip stravaganza, which was the Stephen West mystery knit along. And uh, Rachel has started uh, socks and a cowl and I'll catch up with all the comments later and make a note of what everyone else has been starting and mention those on tomorrow's video. So I'm to sign off today but I'll be back tomorrow with my next project. So until we get to spend time together again I hope you get to do all of the things that you enjoy. Great big willy hugs to you all. Bye for now.